Okay then guys, we've got a bunch of products at first man. So first up is the men's lifestyle supplement. Uh, this is free shipping worldwide and if you pay monthly on the subscription, you can get an extra 10% off. We've got our life setup, marathon mindset and framing course uh, where we talk about body language, we talk about attracting women, we talk about how to build your life in a certain way to make yourself appear more attractive to the world, uh, how to get the best results, etc. Fantastic course, got everything that you need, a lot of things that I can't talk about on this channel that is all in the course. We've got our streaming platform at 1m.video, which is our higher form of content, series, documentaries. We're really pushing to get these out in the, over the next few months, guys. We're taking this to the next level. Uh, and then finally, we've got our new 1m house members club, uh, which the links are below. You can check out the website. There's way too much to explain. In short, we buy houses around the world. You live in them. If that sounds of interest, check the link below. Now, straight into the video you came here to watch. Okay then guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I wanna talk about the adult to high level switch. I didn't wanna put high level man. I might write in the title, but I'm not really a fan of that title, that term. Um, but there's, you know, I've, I've made this before when I've talked to you guys about high school to the adult male switch and <coughs> Look, that is wildly important in your life, so okay? And I'm not making this for the sake of making content like, oh, I've come up with something else. I'm making this because I've experienced this in my own life uh, and things are becoming a little bit crazy now with everything that we're working on. Uh, you guys have seen 1M House. Uh, you guys know what's happening with the streaming platform and, you know, we're trying to kick that into another gear as well. We're trying to acquire uh, content at the moment. You know, there's a lot of negotiations. There's a, there's, it's just, everything's just gone up a hundred notches. And my life was crazy before. And now it's just another gear where you're not like, oh, I'm going to work hard for three days. And then I've got a day off at the end. Now it's just like, oh, there's seven days straight. It's nonstop. It's not going to stop for the next 20 years. Just get on the roller coaster and enjoy the ride. You know, you just have to learn to live with it. Uh, and we've reached that point now, and that's why I want to go through with you guys, is to explain that, yeah, you'll do the high school, and if you haven't watched the video, you should go back and watch it, but you sh you go from the high school switch to the adult male switch, which is just little things like, and I'll, I'll describe this quick so it makes sense in context, maybe at like uni, when you were 19, 20, you could stay up till four in the morning playing video games, wake up, go to a lecture, kind of come back, sleep all day, get on with your life. Once you get into the adult male life, it's like you can't do that anymore. You need to be you need to be up relatively early. You need to be on time. You know, the basic fundamentals of life. You know, just real simple stuff. But the high level stuff, guys, and not a lot of people will talk about this to you because they don't actually live it. But I'll explain here and it's going to make a lot of sense. The life that everyone's chasing, I want to be worth hundreds of millions. I want to be this. I want to be that. I want to I want to drive a Ferrari. This is what it comes with. Like, you, you can't get to that level without these fundamentals, okay? And this is what I've learned. The people that I'm around now and the people that we're working with every single day are operating at this level. I've had to just force myself to operate at this level because there's just no other way to do it. There's no other way to keep up otherwise. You're just going to fall behind. You're going to get stressed. So I've almost become, you know, when people talk about a savage and whatever, like you almost, I've almost had to just go, that's who you are now. All the other stuff that you were doing before, it's gone. Um, you know, like I said to you guys, I love watching movies. I've always watched movies on like a Friday night, Saturday night. Oh, I've been waiting for that to come out. I'll watch it. I don't like, I love the cinema and stuff like that. I don't have time for a three hour movie anymore. And it sounds so sad, but I almost just said to myself, you can't do that anymore. Like, you just you just simply cannot watch them. Uh, and there's going to be, like, hundreds of movies that I just don't end up watching. But it is what it is. It's just what comes with the lifestyle. It comes with the territory. Like, you are just too busy to live like a normal human being. And that's why it's the high school switch into the adult switch into this high level switch and I'm going to go through a few things that I've figured out in the last you know few months. So number one there's zero me time and I should do the quotes zero me time. 
You know, you know, you hear that term quite often. Oh, I just need some me time. I just need some R and R. I just need to relax. You know, I just need to put my feet up for a day. You you just don't get that. It just doesn't happen anymore. And some people will be like, "That's sad. You need a break. You need." I'm telling you, when you're operating at this level, when you're operating with some of the figures that we're operating with, you just don't get the break. There there is no me time. There is no. I'm gonna kick back, put my feet up. I'm gonna have a nice drink. Uh, some ice cream, you know, I'm going to watch a show, I just need a little bit of me time before everybody at this level just goes, you soft motherfucker, get out of the way, you know, what are you doing, why are you relaxing, why have you got your feet up, like you just, you do not get breaks at this level, and I'm saying to this to you guys, to number one, teach you, but number and to turn you into those savages, but number two, if that sounds terrible, don't strive for it, Because everyone at this level will just chew your head off. They don't care. Everybody's like, all right, fuck you then, next. It's (laughs) it's brutal. It's brutal. You will miss opportunities within, oh, you're two minutes late, bye, we got someone else. Like, it's it's hard at this level. You need to just be like shark mode 24-7. You can't switch it off. You you just need to become that individual. And it's uh, it's almost like the 300 Spartans. It is brutal, guys. Number two, do immediately or you're behind instantly. So, you know, there's certain terms that I've had thrown around in the last, like this becomes standard practice, okay? It's like, ask him now. Get that done now. Call him, don't text him. Do you know what I mean? It's at that level. And some of the guys that I worked with in finance years ago, they were the same. And because I was younger and lower down in the company, they didn't expect me to be at that level. But the level that we're operating now, the people that we're dealing with, it's like, you know, I I, I would previously have had a strategy of, <laughs> okay, I know what we have to do. I'll do that in the morning, first thing tomorrow. Whereas now it's just like, well, do it now. It's 4.59. Yep, do it now. Get it done. Just Just message that person. It's like, oh, but... I was about to go home. I was about to do a bit of me time. I was about to put my feet up and watch the football. No, do it now. Get it done. Like this is the levels that it gets to at this stage. Um, Next up is all childish pleasures have to go. So remember I said to you guys that I would play on my Xbox with my day one friends who are still my friends. I actually need to message them. I've been so busy. I haven't been able to uh, just to give an update and say what's happening. Um, But I used to jump on my Xbox like... A, one Sunday every month or something and just have like a, a few hours with the guys, a little catch up, just switch off completely and just do something different. Yeah, that doesn't exist anymore. That's just something I won't be able to do moving forward. And you almost have to come to terms with that. Um, you're just too busy. You've got too much going on. It's just one single night off and you're about three days behind. Like it's just a constant like you're at it all day every day non-stop you you cannot take a break you know little childish pleasures like I know there's a lot of guys that love anime if you sit down every night before you go to you get into beds and you watch an hour of anime and then you go to sleep it's got to stop it has to stop like back in the day I, I haven't done this for years but back in the day I would get into bed be on my phone for a bit go to sleep wake up in the morning watch a few football highlights on my phone and then go Oh, I think I'm going to start my day. Now it's get into bed, head on the pillow, asleep, wake up, right, get out of bed, go. There's just no, you know, there's no stop start. There's none of that. All those childish pleasures have gone. You, you know, like, we tell you guys about no fap. Oh, you shouldn't be doing no fap. You shouldn't be doing... It's not even a question at this level. It's like, how have I got time to do that? When would I possibly do that? Like, it just doesn't... I haven't got the energy to do that. It doesn't even make sense. Like... You know, squeezing in sex is bad enough, which I'm going to get to in a minute. Never mind sitting there for an hour watching porn, trying to select a video. It's like it almost just go, you just go, like what? It's just childish. I, I, I can't do that. Like I'm just at a level where I haven't got the time to be doing it. Um, Next up, your life has to revolve around your routine. Okay, so stuff like meal preps need to be done uh, at night when you're cooking, when you're eating. You need to be doing the meal prep for the day ahead. There's just no other way to get around it. Even if you work from home or whatnot, it just cooking and, you know, it just takes so much time. Washing up takes so much time. You need to be able to do this efficiently. Um, you know, little things as well, like 
you can't really be having sex any later than 10 p.m. at the right, which sounds so robotic, but this is what I found with this routine is or at this level because this is what this video is about guys when you get up to that top top 0.1% you 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 basically can't even have sex after 10 p.m. This is why so many successful guys are on drugs. They're on things like Adderall. Uh, they'll be on Coke. They'll be on, you know, Viagra and whatever. And like combining all three. Because it's the only way that they can operate at that level consistently. Now for guys that want to go to the gym, that want to stay in shape, that want to be on top of their game all the time. No, it was impossible. I don't want to be taking drugs and I'm not going to be doing that. So for guys that want to be operating at that level all the time. You just don't have a choice other than just like your whole routine revolves around your working life. And let's say if you've, let's say you've gone out for a meal with a woman and it's like 8 p.m., 9 p.m., let's say, let's say it's 9 p.m., you have to seriously start thinking about, okay, you know, we're probably have to gonna get, we're probably gonna have to get back in a minute. We're probably gonna have to leave here at like 10 at the latest because. Imagine like you walk home, you get back to your place, you settle down, take off your coats, grab a few little things and, you know, have a quick chat. Maybe you grab a drink, bit of food, whatnot. Then there's like some kissing, some foreplay, you get each other's clothes off, you get into beds. By the time you're finished and then you shower and you get back into bed, it's going to be midnight. Well, if you're planning to hit the gym at 6am, 7am, Saturday morning, you're going to be out of routine. And I know, like, guys, I know how nuts that sounds. Like literally scheduling scheduling in sex and not doing it any later than a certain time because you're going to wake up really tired. You're only going to have five hours of sleep. You're going to feel depleted. You were up till 2 a.m. Like certain things just can't happen anymore. And this is why I'm explaining this to you guys because it, it's a weird lifestyle where you almost have to be so specific to that woman where you're like, oh no, it's gone. Like we can't do it now. Like, I, I've got to go to bed. I've got to be up in the morning. We can do it tomorrow, but you know it has to be quicker. I'm not. I'm not 18. I'm not staying up till three in the morning and having sex. Do you know what I mean? You need to be meticulous with your schedule, and it sounds robotic. It sounds loveless. I, I get it, but without these sort of things, you're going to miss the beat the next day. You're going to get up in the morning and be like, "I'm tired. I'm lifeless. I really don't want to hit the gym. I'm out of routine. I need a few hours in bed this morning." Oh, I feel terrible. Like you're just going to miss steps if you don't stay in this routine seven days a week. And you you almost have to make others live around you. It's almost like that you're the sun and they're orbiting around you. It's almost like taking the selfish man concept to a whole nother level. Because if you don't and you let other people dictate your life, you know, you. I'm telling you guys right now, and it's, it sounds so strange, but when you're operating at this level and you've got this much stuff to do, and it's this important, and you're dealing with some really high-level people with serious funds, it's just that you can't take a day off. You can't mess up. You can't make mistakes. You can't be tired and, you know, just not be at it because everyone in that room is a killer. You can't be having sex till, like, 2 a.m., and then you get up and you're like, oh, I'm hanging. I'm going to skip the gym. I'm just going to go into the office and, you know, I'll do my best, but, like, oh, I'm hanging today. It just needs to be, this is my life, this is my routine. Either fit in with it or you're gone. You're not optimal for what I'm trying to achieve. It's craziness, guys, but honestly, this is what it's become now. Uh, next up is very selective with your time. You need to be willing to cut people off. You need to be willing to be rude and ruthless. So what I mean by rude is like, right, I've got to go. Okay, I've got something on. I've got to go, I've got a meeting. Bye, guys. Like, no... Yeah, I gotta go in a minute, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Just um, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. How's the family? Yeah, yeah. I I really gotta go, guys. But uh, you you know, it's gotta be right, guys. I've gotta go. I've got a meeting. I'll see you later. Bye. Like you gotta be really assertive with your time. Like you can't be. I remember when I was young, I see somebody I'd know in like town or something. And we'd have like or at the gym. This was a big one. And I'm like, how are you? How's your family? What's going on? Yeah, and we'd get onto a topic. Bloody hell, we've been talking for like forty minutes. I I just can't do that anymore. I'm like, how you doing, mate? You okay? Sorry, I got to crack on with this workout. I got to get back. I got a meeting in like 30 minutes. I've just got to get this over the line, get it done. Not being rude, you know, but you are. You're being rude. You're just like, right, I got to go. You got to be at that level all the time. You have to be ruthless. It has to be, that's not working. That's not 
what's required right now. Okay, keep it moving. Next stage, next step. You know, what else can we do? And the guys in finance that I work with were exactly the same. The one that was operating at the highest level, God, he didn't waste a second. And if somebody wasted his time, he was fuming. He was so pissed off. He was like, we're never working with that guy ever again. That's that's what you get to when you get to the top level, okay? Uh, next up is all life stuff. So like cooking, cleaning, washing, whatever. You either have to like hire people for it or it has to be done before like 8 a.m. Uh, so in that case, it means that you're getting up at 4 or 5 a.m. seven days a week without fail. Okay. And what I mean by life stuff is like, if you wanted to like trim your beards, have a shave, uh, you know, real little things, like I just got to trim my toenails and like pull my nose hairs out and whatever. Those sort of things, you're going to have to be doing them at 4am because you can't stop at like 9.55 after a meeting and be like, I just got to go and have a shave. They're going to be like, what, what, you, what time did you get up? Like, you're going to do that now. You have to do that either either Saturday or Sunday, or you're going to have to do that, you know, you have to do that in your own time, you're going to have to get up early and get that done beforehand, you just simply can't do, you know, oh, you know when you were, you, you know when like you'd have a job before when you were younger, <laughs> I'd definitely do this, at lunch I'd say to my boss, oh can I just pop out at lunch, I need to go and grab this from this place or this from the bank or like all of that stops, you have to be doing all of that stuff like, in the a.m. Do you know what I mean? 4, 5, 6 a.m., Friday, Saturday. You just have to do it in your own time. You know, when you get back from work and you're tired, get it done. Like, that's the time. Like, it's brutal. You just need to go, okay, I can't stop. I can't sit down. I can't relax. I can't have a bit of me time. Oh, but I'm tired. It's like, it's the only time I'm going to get. It has to get done now. It's a really weird mentality. And it links into the next one. So the next one that I've noticed in this like top 0.1% that we're operating in now with like high level business that we're operating in now is that there's zero sympathy. So you guys can probably hear in my voice, I'm ill. I've been ill for the last week. Nobody cares. I don't care. Nobody's, you know, I've, I've still, I've not taken a day off. I've not taken a minute off. I've still done all the same things that I would normally have to do. I've just felt like shit whilst doing them. And nobody cares, as they sh- that should be the case. I don't want sympathy, you know. If you want sympathy, you get it off your mum. But nobody at this level gives a shit. They're just like, oh yeah, that sucks. Look, let's go. Let's get this done. You know, it's almost your fault that you got ill. Come on, let's go. It's part and parcel of what you do. You know, you probably had one late night. It is what it is. You know, your fault. You should have gone to bed early. Like, it's just brutal. Nobody's going to feel sorry for you and be like, oh, you're tired, are you? Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Come on, let's go. Like, it is, it's, um, it's pretty crazy. Like, if your legs got blown off before a meeting, people would be like, well, can you crawl? Can you get here on time? Like, nobody, it is, honestly, guys, it's just savage. Now, the final one I want to talk about is expenditure. So, this one's always confused me, and I've said this to a few people. When I see, like, you know, gurus or men from this industry or just guys in general that are like social figures spending a ton of money on like brand names, Lamborghinis, you know, all the cool shit. I'm like, do you have a, do you actually have a real business? Because what I've noticed at this level is everybody is meticulous when it comes to costs. So, you know, how much did that paper cost? Why are we buying, why are we buying luxury paper? Why don't we go and get the cheap shit? Does it matter? Yeah, well, let's buy the cheap shit. And you could be making hundreds of thousands per month, but people are worried about like one pound fifty on a stack of paper that cost way too much. Honestly, honestly, guys, it's so weird. Like it's meticulous about every single element of the business. How much more money can we get our hands on? What are we stupidly spending on? You know, what what can we what can we lower so that we've got more cash flow so that we can put it into this or we have it available if we need it? Like finance and figures and the maths around everything, it is just it runs the day. It runs the whole day. And you know, I've written on here, uh, I'm confused because we're constantly trying to find ways to lower our bills. So when I see people take like uh first class flights and I know it costs them like five grand. Me and my team, we're confused. 
we're like, why, like, why are you, why are you doing that? Like, we flew to Barcelona recently. Um, me and my business partner, um, on the flight that we were on, yeah, it was me and my business partner. We went to, we flew to Barcelona, and with respect, like both of us are making hundreds of thousands per month. We were flying on EasyJet, and we paid like twenty five, thirty pounds for our flights. Like that is that's normal when you're running a business to stay on top of your expenditure, to be like, there's no fucking way we're doing that. This is what high level people do. When I see guys, at apparently the top level, buying like private flights, private jet, and stuff like that, or spending like ten grand on a plane ticket, it does confuse me because expenditure at this level from all the highest level guys that we're operating with right now, they are so meticulous with it. It's confusing. Now, if that private flight saves you about four hours and during that time you were able to make enough money to cover that, now I understand it. That's different. But I don't think people are. I don't think people are making that much money in that time frame and I don't think their flight that they're getting is that important. So that confuses me. Uh, And at this level, like expenditure, maths, the figures, oh my God, it's everything you do. Absolutely everything you do. How can we make it cheaper? How can we bring the price down? You know, the money in the business, the cash flow is more important than like what we're taking out, like what what we've got. Like we need to lower that completely. Um, And finally, I want to give you guys two scenarios to really get your head around like what it's like at this level when you go from the high school to adult male switch and then from the adult male switch to the adult, like kind of the high level man switch um, and what it actually is like at this level. So scenario... This is just like going from high school to adult male. 26-year-old lad, lives on his own, makes decent money, has his life together, gets up for work at 7am, makes it in on time, irons his shirts and meal preps the night before, uh, watches a few hours of TV a night, and gets to bed for 11pm every single night. Pretty good, pretty normal routine, but... You know, that guy could just be, you know, a normal guy earning a normal wage. You know, he's got his life together. People would consider him an adult. And he's got, you know, decent structure. And he would be able to brag to people, oh, I go to bed every night, I get up every morning, never been late for work. But that, to me, now at this level that we're operating at, is almost like a cuddly toy version of what we're doing. And I'll give you an example. The high-level guy... Those three hours of TV are gone forever without fail. You know, he might be able to watch three hours of TV at Christmas, but basically those three hours of TV gone forever. He'll probably never revisit it again. Um, you know, he might pop to the cinema with his missus, want, like, but basically that sort, of just, that sort of stuff just stops immediately. Uh, the ironing, he pays somebody to do it to save time. He's in bed by 10 p.m. every night and up at 4 a.m. in the gym before the kids wake up. Uh, example I said on here, I love movies and cinema, etc. I haven't watched a movie for about two months. Uh, just for context, I didn't watch the Man City, Man United football derby, the soccer derby. Um, me and my business partner were working. I'm a lifelong Manchester City fan. I would not even dream of missing the derby. We knew it was on and I kind of had it like the scoreline on my phone and I'd refresh it every five minutes. But we were working whilst that was going on. And... Like, I thought I was working hard before. I thought I had my life sorted before. But guys, this is like another level. If you, I don't think it's by mistake. You know, there's super successful people who have their life together, who look great, who have got everything in working order. And all they do every hour of every single day is either business and work, gym, self-improvement or sleep. You know, it's just bang, 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 bang. Next day, bang, 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 bang. It's just that consistency. Not no, not a one moment do people at this level go, oh, I just need a week off. I just need a bit of me time. You know, if they do, it's like super high level trip with their beautiful wife and they've already made millions that year. And they're like, okay, I'm going to take a little break. But they've got their phone with them. They're still like, you know tweaking a few things, they're still available, they don't really shut off, which I don't know if that's healthy, but what I will say is when it's go time, it's locking, it's like, we can't waste any more time, can we do this sooner, why are we waiting, let's do this now, like, is that person available, 
well, we've just come up with the idea. Why don't we just execute on it now? Like, why are we, why are we, bu- why are we making a, why are we having a meeting tomorrow when we know this is going to work? Let's do it now. Let's test it. Let's see what happens. Yeah, but it's 9 p.m. at night on a Tuesday. Yeah, I don't care. Let's do it now. Like, that is, I think that's why certain people are at a certain level because they can operate at that level. They can just do that consistently for years. Now, to some of you hearing this, it might be like, that's a fucking nightmare. I don't want to live like that. I want a life. Well, yeah, well, that top level probably won't ever be within reach. You know, everybody that's operating at that level is or are the most successful people on the planet Earth. If you want to drop down a few levels and be less kind of like focused and locked in, you can make a couple hundred thousand per year and just live at that level comfortably, have a nice life and whatnot, which, you know, it's whatever's for you. It doesn't matter. It's personal to each person. But the point I'm making is I just need to tell you guys what it's like at that level, like how intense it is every single day, because I don't think people quite realize what it takes to get right up there, to operate at that top 1% level, like the real top 1%, if not higher. Um, Yeah, it's savage. It's brutal. There's no, you know, nobody feels sorry for you. There's no time off. There's no me time. There's no, one thing that's really hard to get your head around is there's no like end point. There's no, oh, I'll be able to stop next week. I'll be able to stop tomorrow. Oh, it's my day off tomorrow. It, that that doesn't exist. It's like, are you ready to do 10 years? You're in it now. You know, get in, get on. This is 10 years. We're going at 200 miles per hour. You can choose to get off when you want. You know, but you might be doing this for 10 years, nonstop, every single day, just pushing things to the next level. Uh, it's pretty wild. Now, of course, there's good times along the way. There's good fun. You know, you're going to have trips and whatnot. There's going to be little moments, but I'm saying they're not planned. You know, there's going to be events and things that you go to and things you do, but they're not really like, they're like slotted in. So your normal schedule is chaotic. You've got to be so organized that you go, I've got a three hour window. Let's put that in there. That'll be fun. You know, I get to meet up with my friends. I get to have this little bracket here, but then bang, I'm straight on it afterwards. I've got to, I've got to go. You know, this is the only window of opportunity that I have. It's, uh, yeah, it's savage, guys. And I want you guys to be aware of it, to know that it exists. Some of you will want to push to that level. Some of you it will sound horrible. Um, but you can see a direct correlation with how many hours in each day that people use for certain things, how many days a week that they're on it, how intense they are with this and their level of success. Because it, it's the same with women, it's the same with men. I've met women at this level that are the same. Anybody operating at this level is just a shark. They'll just chew you up and spit you out and be like, get out of the way. It's, uh, yeah, you either need to live that culture, live and breathe that culture, or you're going to fall behind and you're going to find your place a little bit lower down on the ladder. Um, but this this top 1%, top 0.1%, whatever it is, it feels like top 0.1%. Every single person expects excellence 24-7. It's uh, it's brutal. I'm actually loving it, but I thought I'd report back to you guys so you know the, the levels that you need to be operating on. There's no like, oh, I'm going to have a nice night off tonight. I'm going to play on my PlayStation. I'm going to do like four hours. Then I'm going to have a bath. Then I'm going to get up late tomorrow. I'm just going to have a me day. I need a me day. Like, you're just going to get destroyed that's that's how you get to like, oh, I did forty thousand pounds last year. That you're you're gonna end up there. Whereas the guy that's like, I did forty million last year, probably has just been bang at it, top one percent, nonstop, relentless for like the last ten years. It's um, everyone's looking for the formula to success. Is why I'm making this video. Everyone's looking for, you know, how do I get to that elite top level? There's no secret. You know, I've worked all my life and my intensity is getting higher and higher every single year. And we're just making more and more money. We're getting in better shape. We're looking better. You know, things are becoming easier. You're able to talk to higher level women. It's not by accident. You're being you're being chiseled into a certain individual. Do you know what I mean? It's um it's very simple. It's very logical. I don't know if me telling you guys this is going to do anything. You might have to experience it for yourself. I just really want you guys to be aware of the brutality at the top 
and what I want you to be mentally prepared for.